In this video series, I'm going to show you how you can set up niche video sites using a free script. So you can set up either a niche video site and monetize it, or you can add a video section to your blogs if you like. And, I'll, and I'm going to give you a free script to use. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the script and set up our database. Now to do that, you're going to have to have a domain name and a hosting account first. So if you don't have that, you need to go to one of the domain registrars and register a domain. One of the domain registrars is called GoDaddy. And you can just set up a free account here if you don't already have one. Then you just search for the domain you want. So let's say we were doing a niche video series on uh, tablets. So we do tablet videos, for instance. And it'll go and check for tabletvideo.com. And as you see here, this one is available. So if I wanted this, I could just go continue to check out and then just go through and pay for it. While I'm in there, I can also set up hosting right in here if I want, or you can use a different hosting account. There's also another domain register I like to use called Namecheap. It's at namecheap.com and it works much the same. You search for your domain name here and then you would go through and pay for the domain name and you can also set up your hosting through here or use the hosting I suggest in the resources document. Okay so that's all I'm going to say about that you just need to have those things. Now I suggest you use cPanel hosting because it makes things a little bit easier but if you want to use one of the built-in hosting to one of these that's fine. Okay, so what we want to do now is go and install our script on our domain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get the files. Now in the package I gave you, you're going to see a file like this, okay? And it says PrismaTube Express. I'm giving you this for free. So what you want to do is unzip this. You can just use Extract All. I have a 7-zip installed, which I find faster, so you can get that for free if you want and just do a search. And there we have our file. So what we want to do now is upload the contents of this to our domain name. To do that, I'd like to use a program called FileZilla. This is a free FTP client. So you can just do a search for it and install it. And then what you do is you navigate on the left to on your computer to where you are where your files are and then on the right side this is your hosting account so what you need to do is put in your host which is your domain name username and password for your hosting account and you can click connect and there's also a site manager where you can set up your sites inside there you can do it that way and then you don't have to come back every time and key it in Now what I'm going to do, normally you would just upload it right into the root directory or into public underscore HTML. If, or wherever your host says you need to upload your files, they will tell you the directory you need. Okay, in this case it's going to go to the root directory. So I would normally upload it here if I wanted someone to just type in my domain name and then get directly to the site. And I'm going to create a directory here so that it's going to be the domain name slash directory. So I'm going to say um, tablet videos. Okay, then we go find tablet videos and we go inside that directory. Now what we want to do is upload all of this into there, including the zip file unzipped. And so we'll just wait for that to finish. Now this only works if you have cPanel hosting. If you don't, you're going to have to unzip this other file on your computer and make sure that it unzips in with the rest of your files. Now let me show you what I mean here. Let's go back to our, fi our file here. And then what we would do is right click and then what you want to, you're going to need 7-zip to do this. And then 
and then what you want to do is do extract here and it will extract the files right into the same directory instead of into a separate folder which is what you want okay so you can do it this way as well whichever way is easier for you and I'm going to show you the other way which would be to do it on your cPanel if you have cPanel hosting and uh, so I'm going to go over there and show you and we're also going to set up our database while we're over there so what we want to do is log into our cPanel and then we want to go to the file manager click on that now what you want to do is find the folder where your where you upload it or if you upload it right to the root you'll find it right inside here but I'm going to go to my tablet videos here and double click and here is the zip file so what I want to do is do an extract okay and there they are it has extracted them for me even close Let's reload the page here, and you'll see that is un, has brought everything out for us. Okay, so it's a little easier to do it like this. There's not so much to upload. Whichever way you want to do it works. Okay, so now while we're in the cPanel, we want to go and set up our databases. So we'll use the MySQL database wizard if you're on cPanel. If not, you'll use whatever tool you have to create your database. So I'm going to go in here and then I'm going to create one called Tab Videos. Tabvid. T-A-B-V-I-D. Okay, we'll go to the next step. And now it wants us to create a username for the database. This is so that the script can access it. So I'm going to call this the same thing. And for the password, I'll use the password generator to make it nice and strong. I'll copy this. And say I have copied it. And I'm going to open a notepad session. Okay, so I've copied it into here just to make sure I don't lose it. And we'll click use password. And now we have a very strong password. And we'll create the user. We need to give it all privileges now. And then click next step. And it's created the, the database and username for us. So what we want to do is copy the, the string you see here, which is the name of your username and password. I've made them both the same, so I only have to copy one, but otherwise you would copy the username and the password. And then we bring it over here and paste it in here just so we have everything together. Now at this point, we can run our script. So all we have to do now is put the URL to our script in the, in the browser bar and bring it up. Okay, so all we have to do now is click on this and it's going to install the free Prismo tube script for us. So all we have to do is start putting in our information here. So we saved all this, our database username and password. So there's our username. Here's our database name. And let's go get our password. And then our host name, localhost. You can get that from your PHP My Admin in your cPanel or whatever system you're using. You should have a PHP My Admin. Okay, so here's PHP My Admin. If I click on that, you see up at the top here, it says localhost. That is our database host name. So whatever it says here, that's going to be what you're looking for for host name. So we'll, it's correct here. Now we need to give it a min username. 
don't use admin. It's not secure enough. So let's call it tableting with a capital. Put a secure password in here. And then we add my email here. And install PrismoTube. Okay, now we just have to click down here. And there we have it. Now we're all installed.